got to start over so because it sounds like you're really leading into some really deep bullshit. Helping reptiles get into people's brains with that bullshit. God knowing individuals are not discouraged by misfortune or downcast by disappointments. <laughs> Believers are. 
are immune to depression consequent upon purely material upheavals. Spirit livers are not perturbed by the episodes of that invader. Get all that. <laughs> good stuff. It's shit. Did you get, did you get that one down? <laughs> Value oh, adjusters? I can't work.
Canaanites, the heirs of the curse of Canaan. These corrupt acts are dictated by the will of Canaan. The true Semites are the fair-haired warriors who built one great civilization after another. Then how do we recognize these various forces in today's world? To their deeds ye shall know them. Those who are engaged in murderous conspiracies, those whose only loyalty is to secret international organizations, those who promote the use of drugs, bizarre sexual practices, and criminal undertakings, in short, those who continue the rebellion against God. These are the Canaanites and the anti-Semites. Those who remain true to Christ are the Semites. Despite great calamities and the swept sweep of powerful historical forces, the genetic pools of the original people of Shem, as well as those of the Canaanites, remain fairly consistent. How do we recognize the one group from the other? You should have no problem in looking about you and decoding who are the true descendants of Shem. Often fair-haired, fair-skinned, predominantly blue-eyed, healthy, creative, productive, proud, disdaining to engage in any dishonest activity and always fiercely individualistic. He's, uh, and then what the hell? But Hugh Hitler wanted to breed, and then he just wanted the blonde hair, blue eyed guy. Right. These are the people who remain yeah. true right. to the tradition of the people of Shem. The Canaanites, however, huh? are generally shorter. This is like me. Generally shorter, darker, more furrowed, and almost always engaged in some type of criminal activity, usually with special government approval or license. Roget, Roget equates license with anarchy and interregnum, mob rule, mob law, lynch law, nihilism, reign of violence. In other words, the acts of the Canaanites get in the United States today. We have imposed on the citizens See, I like, I like, for license to do any of the things. This doesn't hurt my head because I'm learning something. We drive our own car. <clears> the <throat> other one, you're just shoving bullshit down my throat. But this time, I'm like learning something. It's like you're searching for the truth. So. Individuality of the people of Shem. License, which does not appear in the Constitution written by and for the people of Shem means setting up requirements that only the Canaanites can meet, or license which only the secret clubs of the Canaanites will grant to their own, no others need apply. This is the cohesiveness required by the will of Canaan in everything they do, socialistic and communistic. Holistic. The individual submerged in the mass and committed to conspiratorial, social, and business practices. They are also frequently involved in some sort of extracurricular sexual activity which can be traced directly back to the orgies of Baal. Human sacrifice and obscene sexual rights. At the same time, these anti-Semites will go to great lengths to conceal their true identities and their real loyalties. In their communities, they are often found to be leaders in activities advertised as compassionate and caring. They're the Shriners. They're often found to be in government offices <laughs> the media and in the educational institutions. In these areas, they ruthlessly promote the interests of their own kind, while presenting a solid phalanx of opposition to any one of the individualistic descendants of Shem who enter these professions. They like to drive around in really small, really small go karts and motorcycles. You know what? When you read out of this book, it doesn't hurt my head. That, that thing about encouragement. And <laughs> if they are members of their rivals, the Canaanites, now time grows short. History will not allow the people of Shem I can tell the difference if someone's trying to manipulate me with my emotions or if they're actually telling me something new, like exploring the truth, or if they're just like telling me. People of Shem now face the determination of the Canaanites to exterminate them utterly and finally. A goal which they hope to achieve by the end of this millennium. <laughs> Okay, then. You know what? This book goes down much easier than that Urantia bullshit. Let's get rid of them. What? This, I said this yeah. book This book isn't hurting my head, but the Urantia book was, because it was all lies and manipulation. Yeah, lies and manipulation. Well, that'll happen when you put a pen to paper. Stuff will go your head. Well, the 
Can- the Canaanite book's not hurting my head. Because it's actually like exploring something. It's not just like trying to fill the offering bowl every time. It's like, let me manipulate your emotions so you'll put money in the offering bowl but and say that I'm telling you the truth when really it's just a bunch of limbic si- system massaging. It's like massaging the emotional center of your brain until you put money in the jar. Probably saying about the same stuff you've always heard and saying it's something new or something. What other books does your grandpa have? Aren't there a lot of good books in there? Yeah. We're just scratching this. I think we just scratched the surface. That's the first time you've read out of one of your grandpa's books on, uh, well, no, you were reading out of it while I was skateboarding on a video. Remember that? Nimrod? Yeah. Is he a king? The Greek god. Oh. The Greek god that built the Tower of Babel. Oh, okay. Let's see. We gotta make your grandpa proud and put his conspiracies to use. Yeah. Well, I hate to see all these books go to waste. Yeah, we gotta start reading them on YouTube. So a race of mass murderers have gotten into our gene pool, and it's the Canaanites. Yeah. And it's weaved into Freemasonry. special so right now I'm eating some spaghetti. yeah I think I think it's a little late to start looking for jobs uh, I think we've kind of already pulled ourselves we, we already rescued ourselves from society I don't know why we'd want to go back to it Stephen, Stephen down in, um, oh. 